Yes, I mean, it, it, it's very true. If we go back, I don't know, seven or eight years, we understood that pro the probiotics had an impact on our intestinal health and maybe some impact on our immune health. So we could protect against diarrhea and we can protect against IBS, that type of thing, and the use of antibiotics. We also had some, in there was some impact that maybe uh, probiotics would have an, an impact of, uh, on childhood allergy. Now we know it's a lot more extensive than that. Not only is, uh, uh, have we confirmed that those intestinal and those immune effects are very much apparent and are very much there. So for instance, we can reduce allergy in babies by 50% by providing uh, probiotics. We can, produce, we can reduce coughs and colds in uh, children by between 30 and 50% over the winter time by giving probiotics. So those, those two are in place, but we also know now that probiotics can have an impact on depressive disorder, anxiety in terms of, of gut brain effects. We have um, indications that, that the probiotics given over a longer period of time might well have an impact in preventing Alzheimer's disease. We, have, we, we know that, that, that there also there is an impact on things like performance in athletes. So whereby, if you combine all of those attributes, you make the, the, the body healthier, the, in, the intestinal tract healthier, you make the immune system healthier, you make, if you like, your anxiety, depression, you feel better. All of these things co combine to make an athlete perform better. And we've done a number of clinical trials showing that endurance athletes particularly, so this is marathon runners and um, triathletes, when they put on probiotics, perform better.